All right, guys. that we picked up at the port. All right, guys, I am sitting here at a receiver. We got here um, around 1, 110, uh, 1310, so message dispatch uh yesterday and i said hey um because there's notes on specific accounts as far as receivers and shippers and stuff and this one usually requests you got to have a uh, requested appointment time so i messaged dispatch yesterday and said can you uh make sure that you set the delivery for one o'clock if you've not already set one for me and his response was that you don't have to have them uh, appointment time. Um, so evidently, to his knowledge, Arconic, um, which is the uh, the shipper, is supposed to basically uh, they supposed to t so this receiver is supposed to take Arconic stuff without a, a specific appointment, um, just because they do a lot of stuff with them. And so I get here and don't have an appointment time i ain't taking your call so he was a little bit grumpy message dispatch and let him know what was going on and so i'm still sitting here it's uh currently about uh 14 and still nobody knows what's going on so I asked the guy at the uh, the receiver. Uh, I said, "So are you refusing this load? You know, I mean, like what? I mean, like exactly what, what what's going on here? I mean, I just wanted to kind of know something that way we don't call my dispatcher back that I can uh, have all my facts together on, on what to tell him and everything." So I don't know. I'm still sitting here. Um, I just now message dispatch. And, and told him that, uh, you know, let's, what, what about delivering this on Monday? I mean, evidently nobody can get their ducks in a row on what's going on. If they're gonna take it, if they're not gonna take it, you know, my biggest concern was I told dispatch I wanted to get home this, on Friday when I came over here to Fraley that was one of the things that I had, you know, specified that I want to be home Friday or early Saturday morning, um, but preferably Friday uh, and roll out Monday. Oh, no problem, no problem. And it's not been a problem. Um, but for the last couple of weeks, um, it's been Saturday getting home. So I told dispatch that I wanted to get home on Friday. We had some plans uh, to do. I uh, got to winterize the camper um, and wanted to actually take the camper out one last time before I winterized it. But I guess this is trucking, you know, you, you never, you can't never plan on anything specific to be for sure because anything can happen. I mean, I've been to this place, you know, probably. 10 or 15 times i've never had any issue but i've always had an appointment time too so i don't know if that's just something new that arconic's doing and, sorry about that i'm trying to go on by but or is that just something that the dispatch had gotten mixed up about as far as thinking that, that was what the new the new way is is you don't have to worry about appointment times that the ship and receiver have worked it out where they're going to take our calls or take the calls at any time we get here. But uh, I don't know. So I just now got a message saying you are good. Check back in, and so. 
I'm going to end this and walk back in here and see what's going on. Be back with you shortly. So I pulled off an exit here to complete my securement check. Every 150 miles or three hours, whichever one comes first, you have to check your stripes. Now I checked these this morning. So first, when you get loaded, you have to do this your first 50 miles. So you can kind of see what we got going on here. These are called eye to the sky coils. Listen, play a tune with them. You want to make sure right here the strap is not on this coil because it will cut it and it slid on this one so i actually put two on this one and two other ones that is just a little bit of the inconvenience of the flat bed life but all right let's get back on the rope oh finally getting through here we got an oversize there it's going to back out it's got a little bit of a cluster going on a little bit of a cluster but that's typically how the fuel island is been waiting for six minutes and it'll probably take me a good 15 to get all fueled up and everything so i'll show you guys here so once you get in the so once you get this no i don't have a good card what's going on here all right, so we're here at Tom Brooks, Virginia. Let's start fueling. There we go. So we go through this process, and I got plenty of death. Someone's going to get. Don't need anything in the store. I don't need a cash advance. So there's our code. Yep, 
daily routine. Everybody talking silly on the thing, probably. That's not how an engine, my engine thing kicked on this minute ago when I was in line. What happens a lot of times is this guy in front of me, you know, he went inside and done his thing, used the restroom, got him something to eat or whatever it may be. And I've been guilty of it, but. The guy behind you, I went and got his fuel receipt. He filled up, got his fuel receipt, and got back, and beat you, beat you back, and saw the rock. Yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. But a lot of times, like, for example, where I'm at behind this guy, they'll, they'll go in too, and then, you know, it just takes twice as long for the guy behind me, so I got a guy behind me as well. So. Yep. Craziness, but, uh, We'll be back here shortly. is the shipping manifest a lot of shippers don't require this when you check in but this receiver does Here last week, the uh, the uh, the machine that spins and cleans the ground or whatever it was in, it was in my way a little bit, but he moved. So, no biggie. That door right there to the left. So I'll line up over here.
Those are light, super light. I think the Avis one's 9,500. Over the weekend, I hauled, uh, there's one almost 49,000. Just one. Thanks, sir. You got a YouTube channel, bro? Yeah. Yeah, what, what is that? Uh, Rolling for Time. Rolling for Time? Yeah. R O L L N 4 F O R Time. Yep. Okay. Check it out. Yeah, Thank you. curtain didn't close all the way so sometimes that happens or it gets loose on the back end let me get this old tool here ah. make sure both of them's locked down that's what this right here is for that one's locked this is the one that came open so you can see how Kind of came up right here. You have a good week, man. And now we're going to, looks like like 15 minutes away to pick up the load that is going to Dandridge, Tennessee. So now you want to go back, yard movement, and leaving yard. Eleven, 11 minutes away is where we're going to. See what the place is called. Start location. Uh, need twit card. So card it's a transportations worker so let's get on down the road here Build 
building right here. The windows busted out. It's a used to be a bank. It looks like Broadway Trust Company. up here to the uh, it's, it's called the metal ball pack but it's right beside of the uh, it's the same facility as uh, bushes baked beans so we'll get this thing slid and I'll make it shortly so this is a load that we picked up at the port yesterday and uh, unstrap it Some of these straps, you gotta put a little bit of the, the weight into it because it's so tight. Right, these two two bars to secure it, bring it down. straps on there and that front one because typically they they put them right together but you see that gap so I put the front well that's what the port required you to do was do three straps and these are only 20,000 pound pulls so two two would be sufficient DOT but we try to be overachievers and just make sure we're securing stuff properly and uh, getting, getting her safe and keeping everybody safe on the road. So I'm going to throw these straps and be back with you. Get up here and you 
see these mountains. It's always a real pretty place to come to, especially in this time of year. Jersey. 